The Crown is highlighting another era of the royals with focus now on the 1990s, at the height of the scandal between now King Charles III, played by Dominic West, and Princess Diana, Elizabeth Debicki. But the Netflix period drama's latest series also delves into other areas of the family's past, including Prince Philip, Jonathan Price, and the Natchbull family. Express.co.uk has everything there is to know about how the families are connected. Warning, this article contains spoilers from The Crown. How is Norton Natchville related to Prince Philip? Norton Natchville, Elliot Cowan, the third Earl Mountbatten of Burma, and his wife Penny, Natasha McElhone, feature in the first couple of episodes of The Crown Season 5. They are seen going away together with His Majesty and the Princess of Wales on their second honeymoon in Italy and then Penny again when she forms a bond with Prince Philip in Episode 2. Norton is the grandson of Louis Mountbatten, also known as Uncle Lord Mountbatten, the Duke of Edinburgh's favourite uncle. He was also in the year above the King at the Scottish Barding School Gordon Stone and the Queen and Philip always remembered how Norton looked out for their son during those difficult years. Mike Tyndall's budgie smugglers spark frenzy with him as celeb fans Norton got together with Penelope Eastwood, daughter of Reg Eastwood, a butcher turned businessman who founded the Angus Steakhouse restaurants. They had to postpone their wedding when Lord Mountbatten was assassinated by the IRA, which featured in the fourth season of The Crown. The bomb blast also killed Norton's 14-year-old brother Nicholas and his grandmother Lady Brayburn. Norton and Penny instead got married a couple months later where King Charles was his best man. The couple inherited Mountbatten's 18th-century 60-room Broadlands estate near Romsey, Hans, where Charles and Diana spent part of their honeymoon a couple of years later. Episode 2 of The Crown Season 5 sadly shows another tragedy as Norton and Penny's daughter Leonora died in 1991 at just five years old. She had kidney cancer and despite being in remission at the time, the tumor returned, leaving her family heartbroken. Her death did bring Penny and Philip closer, as he tried to comfort the grieving mother during this time. Katya Jones makes sly dig at partner Tony Adams after strictly exit, reaction you upset Philip spoke to lawyers over the crown plot, claims expert, expert Prince Philip was furious at Netflix over portrayal in the crown, explainer, Philip encouraged Penny to take up the sport of carriage driving as a distraction and taught her the ropes. They went on to attend glamorous events associated with the sport together, like the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Philip and Benny were once spotted dancing together at the Royal Yacht Squadron Ball and it had been rumored they were more than just friends. He once laughed this suggestion off though, telling broadcast Jeremy Paxman, every time I talk to a woman they say I've been to bed with her. It's absolutely cuckoo. Norton and Penny didn't stay married though as they split up in 2010 after 31 years and three children. He left for the Caribbean so he could be with Eugenie Jeannie Nuttall, the sister of the former Bahamas Attorney General Sean McQueenie. Penny has continued to live at the royal estate where daughter Leonora is buried. The Crown seasons 1 to 5 are available to watch on Netflix.